Take you to a different angle. KCAL News reporter Nicole Comstock is also at the scene in Montebello. And Nicole, what can you tell us from your vantage point? Well, this possible tornado, you guys, blew an unbelievable path through some of these buildings. Take a look at all the stuff on the ground here in front of the seafood supply company. You can see boxes, pieces of the roof here, pieces of roll-up doors that completely blew off in this whirlwind out here. And up here at the sky, you can see that it actually took the entire portion of the roof off here. Employees who were inside this warehouse at the time told us they actually tried to pull this roll-up door down to protect the inside from that wind but it was just too intense. So they basically had to back away from this and hide here in the corner where that dolly is. Now, if you can imagine being there while this was all going on outside, this is what was blowing around here. All these pallets that have basically just landed down on top of each other. And you can imagine how dangerous this was at the time because you have these big chunks of wood with nails in them that are just flying around all over the place. And that wasn't the only thing spinning around here. Take a look at the walls here in this parking lot. That was the roof that created all these black marks all the way around here in a circle. It looks like they were just torn up in a blender, basically. And now you can see that they're just sitting against the wall in the ground there. We also talked to a woman who witnessed this thing from another nearby warehouse. She tells us in the parking lot over there, they actually had a couple of employees who were pretty banged up when this thing blew through. Um, and you can also hear the winds intensifying right in the middle of this interview. Take a listen in the building we were inside the building at the moment and all of a sudden you hear like two loud noises and the wind started going crazy that's when everything started to happen and, uh, oh, no. in the warehouse there was um the whole roof went off there were some workers out in the back that were injured and then if you take a look at this video here at some other businesses, you can see one of them has already been red tagged, probably because of the damage to the roof, at least inside. There's debris all over the place out here in this neighborhood, like big pieces of awnings. There's a large tree we saw that came down on top of an iron fence and looks like it just completely crushed it. Now, we've also seen some sagging power lines out here near the path of this possible tornado. And we also know that kids from a local high school were without power for pretty much the better part of the morning. They were finding released later today and we can tell you that there were some parents and people walking around trying to find where these kids from the high school ended up being released today. Everyone's just happy that no one out here seems to have been seriously injured. Uh, over here inside this seafood supply company, we're told there were no major injuries. There was someone that has a cut to their hand, but they are also just thankful that everyone was okay. We're reporting live. We'll send it back to you in the studio. All right.